hello guys welcome back so in this video we will be solving one of the most important question of python interview series okay so we can see that the question is to find if the given number is divisible by each of its digit or not so if i take this example one two four then you know the number itself should be completely divisible by each of its digit like 124 percentage divisible by 4 should be 0 124 divisible by 2 and then 124 is also divisible by 1 it means if it is then we have to print the total number of digits i mean sorry uh, then here the number is divisible by each of its digits so we need to print the total count which in this case will be 3 like you know we have 1 2 4 right so 1 2 4 is divisible by 1 2 and 4 so it means these are the 3 digits and if i take this another example 120 then here they have mentioned that we get the 0 division error because we are dividing we are dividing some number with zero which is not not possible right then in 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 this case if it is something like that then we have to print here then we have to print here you know uh, we have to print here the print the count of digit okay so let's see how we can write this code maybe you have a, some different uh, way to solve this problem and uh, if you have a better way then you can you know definitely post over the comments right so that everyone will learn it so i will try to you know uh, use some try and catch try and accept clause over here and we'll see how it goes so i'll quickly create one function let's say def f un f underscore is divisible something like that here i will pass some number right i'll use here try so okay let me not use here try first so um, what i can do see this is a number right so here what i'm saying that i need to iterate with all the digits right so what i can do i can just write here f for i in str of num cool okay perfect then I'll, what I'll do, I'll just write here num divisible by 4 is equal to 0, 0, not 4, it should be, it should be int of i. So why I am doing int of i? Because now this no, this is not a number, this is like a string. So, you know, uh, number cannot be divisible by any character, right, or a string. That's why I converted this into integer again. Yeah, once it is done, once it is done then you know if it is divisible by this then i have to counter it right i have to count the digits cool so here i can initialize one variable called c is equal to zero and c plus one okay once it is done you know once it is done done then what i'll do i'll quickly you know print here c or not print i would say return c cool and once it is done then what i will do i will call this function right with some number let's say one two four so if i run this now then you can see it will print three it should print three okay it's okay let me just write here print also you can here you you can see over here three if i just increase the number like this then we'll see what will happen here we have only 4 because you know maybe you know 5 is not divisible sorry 124 is not divisible by 5 right so hence you know it returns only 6 sorry it returns only 4 cool okay so what if if i you know make this number like this 120 then what will happen let's see so if i do this then you can see it is throwing an error saying that zero division error right so we can you know we can also we can what we can do we can first check out whether this string not string this number have some zero or not if it is zero then you know we directly print out directly we'll, we will print out the length of this number you know total digits right instead what we can also do we can use here try and catch block cool try and try and accept in python if if, if it is uh, java then it is you know if it is java it is like try try accept okay so you know for i range here i'll print c return c and if we have any exception right so accept and here i will use zero division error because we know only this error we will get cool so like this and here what i will do i'll just print c 
right if it is if it is not matching if it is not matching then we do not need to do okay if it is then you know i'll just print here len of str of num cool now let me run this and we'll see what is the output you can see the output is here none i okay because it print the number right it print the numbers okay so here also i have to return it so if i do this here like this and let me you know just make the identification correct so i'll just use this this one space over here and one space over here one space over here again one space over here cool so it returns and here i will use return again so this is done cool and if i run this now it is printing me three right so if i just increase the number like this okay then we'll see it is printing me six one two three four five six cool so i hope that you have understood this and you know this is one way to do maybe you know you have a different way to solve this problem or approaches if you have any better solution then you can definitely post in the uh, linkedin or over the in the telegram or over in my uh, you know youtube comment section also okay so here you know we have launched our python course which is past in python with data structure and algorithm here you can see we have five modules and all are in english language and already 86 learners have been en enrolled in this course so what we have covered over here you know we have covered the basic stuff of python as well as you know, some advanced topics of python also like like data structure algorithms object oriented programming right and if, if you see over this module section then you know the first module will be like how we can install python and how we can set up the environment and then we have basics of python you can see this is covers i mean this almost covers seven hours of content and if i you know drop down over here then you can see every each and every topic is being covered over here cool and then you know we have also have covered data structure algorithm which is a very important part of uh, computer science right and uh, then we have problem solving with data structure algorithm how we can solve how we can use these data structure to solve these problems right so we have covered each each topic each each topic for you know i mean we have covered uh, uh, two three problems for each topic let's say how to solve this string problem how to solve how to solve this stack problem how to use binary search tree while solving the problem and so on and then we have also covered this module four where we have you know covered a real time scenario framework in data engineering like like you know how we can read or write the things using api what is multi threading in python and so on right so also you know in in near future i will be i will be uploading a more in View questions specifically related to data engineering in this course so you know you can go ahead and you know take this course if you are very beginner or if you are learning python well right so i hope you have liked it and thank you bye bye